Hi Leo, welcome. Let's go ahead and do a reading for you. And this is Timeless. Now if you find this right after it gets published and then you feel like it's right for you, fabulous. If you find it down the road a ways and you feel like it's right for you, then it is. Okay? It's, time's fluid. Okay. Please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So you might check your other placements for a more complete picture. Or if this reading doesn't resonate with you. Beautiful, you have peace. Let's get a couple more, and then we'll go into the tarot. Oh, orphaned. That's a challenging energy. Let's see what else we have. A deep knowing. And at the bottom, you have building blocks, so we should probably take that card as well. Oh, and look, you have a leg up. Okay. We are going to stop, but we're going to take those. Okay, so here you have peace. During this time, something is going to happen that's going to bring in the peace. And orphaned, this might be where you're starting out. This is where you're feeling alone and the sadness that goes with that. Like, where do I belong kind of feeling. You know, like, you, you don't really know where to go, what to do. Here is where you're bringing in the sense of knowing, this deep knowing. And if you notice, this is the very same color palette. So this deep knowing is going to bring you in the peace. Okay? And I think these probably go together. Here, you're feeling very alone. Here, you have a leg up, which means there is somebody here to help you. Or more than one person. This is your support system. They are here. There is no reason for you to be in this energy. You need to get out of it, okay? So we have orphaned, a leg up, deep knowing. Here you have a 43 and a 34. You have threes, fours, and twos. Okay, so you have this deep knowing which is bringing in this peace. And here, you have building blocks, which means you're building on a firm foundation. So to me, this looks like a whole evolution that's taking place. Starting out potentially very lonely and working your way through this to where the confidence is here and the real knowing is here, the deep knowing. And this leg up. So it looks like somebody is coming in, whether it be a person or people here on the earthly plane, or spirit, your higher self, your guardian angels, ancestors, whatever it is. You are getting what you need in the way of help, which is going to create this peace. And when you're in this state, you're going to be able to start building on something that is very solid. Okay, let's get some tarot, see what that would like to share. Let's get your overall energy. Okay, here, this is a, <laughs> a deep knowing. This is where you know where you want to go. You know, you, you feel this. But you might very well be leaving something behind, which definitely would be that orphan state. I'm going to put this right there. Okay. So let's see your past energy. Okay, this is where you felt like you needed to be on guard, you know, protecting and defending something. And, yeah, orphaned. Maybe feeling very alone. You only see you here. You see all these wands, which is built up like a barrier. Uh-huh. 
and you feel like you have to protect and defend. And you can see where you've been wounded, right? So there might very well be a big link there. But yeah, protecting and defending. Okay. Your current energy. This can be conflict. It could be competition. It could be training. By these cards here, um, it makes me feel like it could be conflict. It could be all the above or any of the above. Competition. I don't really feel the competition as much as I feel either the training or the conflict. Yeah. And these cards would lend themselves well to both. Okay, let's see your opportunity or obstacle. Beautiful. You have the King of Pentacles. So your opportunity is to find this wonderful stability and feel empowered to be able to be you. Here, I don't think you feel empowered to be yourself. Here you do. And you have mastery. Mm -hmm. So by going through maybe getting support, deep knowing, learning about something, whatever this is, is going to lead you to a very stable position, a very caring position, one where, you know, finances aren't an issue. And you can see a huge difference in the way this looks as compared to these. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Cups. And this is where you are going for what you love. It is the Mother Archetype. So it's also, for me, um, a card of your support system. So you have two. You have a leg up and you have the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups is filled with love. And all she wants to do is help. Okay? Okay. So you have a lot of support. Let's get a little more. And your overall energy there is where I think you see what's going on. You know, you kind of like see the light. And you know what you want to leave behind. But even if you see it and you know it, you have to go through the processes to get there. All right, let's um, see. Uh, find out what you don't see. Okay. This is saying you need to use your intuition. You have some choices and it's confusing potentially, but there's a decision that you need to make. And just instantly, it takes me right over to here. You know, the decision would be leaving this behind to go forward with what it is that you truly want. So you don't see that you're making this decision, probably because you're so busy protecting and defending yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's uh, find out how to go forward. You know, it could, this could actually be training. Because if you notice, this person's dressed very whimsically. And they've done that on purpose. Mm -hmm. And it keeps standing out to me. So it could be training that you're going through. Or training... Is a very general term, right? Maybe your support system is helping you to understand that this orphaned energy is your emotions. They could be prompted by something externally or it could just be coming from within you from who knows what. You know, when you were childhood, maybe you had a challenging childhood or something. But this could very well be training that you need 
to get you or help get you out of this energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. How to proceed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To me, this is more like training. How to go forward is in your happiness. And I do think a big part of this now is definitely learning. You know, learning about destructive thoughts or challenging thoughts, how they will pull you down. And learning about how positive thoughts help lift you up. And having this loving support system, right? So go forward with happiness. If you notice, this column is really quite different than this column. This, standing very still, standing very still, protecting and defending, trying to make a decision. Here, all this action, and here, being in your happiness, they're just so different. And now both of these are looking over here. Mm -hmm. And I think they're both saying, let go of this. You know, follow the, these steps. Think about them. Get the help you need so you can develop this deep knowing, which is going to create the peace and help you to be able to build on a solid foundation. Okay. Beautiful. Your outcome is the Two of Cups, unconditional love. And this can be with another. It could be romantic. It doesn't have to be. It could also be with your higher self. So, and I, that's what I think it is. Because here you're feeling very alone. Here, there's this unconditional love and happiness. Yeah, perfect. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Swords, which is saying, make yourself a priority. Okay? Help yourself get out of this challenging energy and into this beautiful energy. Okay? Definitely doable. Let me move this. A little more over here. Okay. Because over here is this challenge. Here's help. Here's learning. You know, having this deep knowing. And here's where the peace is able to come in. And now you're able to build, to go forward. Okay. Make this a priority. Yeah. Getting the rest you need. The learning that you need, whatever it is that you need, make yourself a priority and get that. Because it's going to enable you to have the peace, be happy, unconditional love. And yeah, I think this is training. Okay. Let's get a little bit more. Okay, you have the Page of Swords. And great. The Page of Swords is a youthful energy, nothing to do with your chronological age, but where you are in the situation you're in. And this is where they are starting to see clearly, um, starting to think clearly, starting to use their wisdom, and really wanting to go forward. So you're in your recent past, and what you don't see, you know, they're challenging. Right? And here I think you're starting to see, well, I don't have to stand guard all the time. There's no reason for it. And this decision that I'm having a hard time making really isn't that tough of a decision. I know I want to be happy and go forward. I don't want to stay in this energy. And I think that's what that is saying, that you're starting to see how to create the change. Okay. Oh, you have two here. Okay. 
You have the Queen of Cups, which you have right here. So again, support system. So that's three times for your support system, a leg up, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Definitely use your support system. There is so much comfort in your support system. There really is. I know. And here, by using your support system, seeing, starting to see clearly, you know, doing this training, you're going to have a big change come in out of the orphaned energy and into this happiness unconditional love peace and this is saying you're going to be very content and happy with life with your abundance and at the bottom of the deck this is saying your ships are coming in you're able to get what it is you need and want you have to take the steps to go do it, but it's here for you. Okay, let me put that down here. And let's get a few cards from the universe to see what they would like to share. And if you like this reading, please give it a like, share, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. <laughs> love it new beginning and I do think that's what you're getting here this new beginning where you're seeing clearly <laughs> um, being able to use your wisdom um, having the way of knowing so everything is starting to become clear that this is gone outdated you don't want it you don't need it it shouldn't even be here right you can see how to go forward into your happiness beautiful <laughs> page of cups yeah you're ready to get this going here i think this is an important step because you're starting to see the truth and here you know that you're ready for love And you have the same energy twice. So this is the universe saying I meant what I said. You're going to be able to get to the point where you feel so stable, so peaceful, very content in your abundance and your happiness. This is also a very caring energy. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the hermit. And in this case especially, to me it feels like you have been seeking and are seeking your enlightenment. You know, your stars inside this lantern, your wish is coming true, right? So, kind of taking this and putting it in a nutshell, in search of your happiness and truth, and you're finding it beautiful. Okay, let's see what the angels would like to share. Yes, this is a, a beautiful reading when it comes to starting, you know, so far down and finding your way to the top when it comes to the happiness and love, peace, those sorts of things. So, yeah, I love it. Trust. Yeah, do trust. I think... That's huge. You have to trust the process. Trust yourself. Trust your support system. Trust the angels. There's a lot of trust that needs to be had. And that could be part of the problem here, right? That there wasn't trust. And that's the same within the next few weeks. So that is a timing element, of course. And it can say that this is either starting or maybe you're reaching a milestone or you know, it can be a short time to get to this point. And it really can be. It all depends on how you go forward with it. A lot of times, people will have a huge aha moment 
and then they never look back. So it all depends on you. But it looks like within the next few weeks, things are going to be changing. And when you're down here in this energy, you're only going to go up. Okay, let's close this out with the charm. Peace. So that's twice. You have peace here and peace here. So what this is saying to me is you are definitely going to find the peace that you were looking for. And it's come out twice, so it's a big deal. Thank you so much. I truly hope this helps. Much love.